him up first, then I'll read it. Let's, let's walk clear up, please. Thank you. Are you happy to be filmed? Yes, so I'm filming it so I can hear it back later on. All right. Better for our audience. And I know what people have been saying, so then I'm up to play. All right. Is that okay? That's, that's absolutely fine. fine. You have five on. minutes. Five minutes? Okay. Oh, sorry, very quickly. Um, before you start, Roger, it's submission ID 103, councillors. Submission ID 103, I'm just talking to councillors. Those, page 217 in your large book. Okay, we have a seeking lip policy um, within the South Waikato. What I understand, and, and there's no presence of the um, merchant, uh, the poking machines. You have been a lot of people that um, goes in into the pokies and coming out with nothing. That's fine. That's up to them. But so close to the church, across the road. So close to the kindergarten, across the road. At the achievement centre. Using their vulnerable people going into into the pokies. Mr. I think Drower, that might be excuse a... me, Mr. Drower. This presentation today, what we wanted to do is to get information from the community about what we should have in our new gambling policy. It's not about what we've got existing. It's about what you think we should be considering and putting into our new yeah, policy. Well, yeah, Thank you. 
I agree that in this community yeah, there are a lot of people that need help, but I think you, your focus is probably should be widened a bit because I'll give you a couple of other examples. There are families where someone in the household is buying methamphetamines for a thousand dollars a gram. Yep. There are families where all the food that's eaten at the table is takeaway <coughs> food, and we've had a huge explosion in takeaway food in this town. When I came here. 40 years ago, there was probably three fish shops and that was it. Now we've got around about 40 takeaway food outlets. Each takeaway food um, outlet per meal is around about eight to ten dollars per person. So a huge amount of money is going out on, in that department. Do you think that sort of area should be controlled as well? Because you're looking at a family budget. That's why.
Um, and I, I accept when you say that I am restricting people, and I will take that, and I will take a step back because I don't want to restrict anybody having their say totally on what they want to say. But I don't think that it's fair on the existing issue that we have in the proposed merger that, are, that people in the last two um, presenters have actually concentrated on. So I want to get a happy medium, but I will take a, your advice as far as um, perhaps when we do go to our deliberations that we um, disregard the references to um, the proposed merger. Because I, I don't think that's fair, to be honest. And that was, that's where I was coming from. But I take on board what you was saying, that I won't restrict people, but I would request that the, um, any references to pockets um, and to that merger is, is not part of the presentation. Councillor Van Nooyen. Yeah, just to quite an extent, <coughs> I agree with... And, and yes, I, I am agreeing when you're spelled it out like that, yes. But to me, it is really important that I get the emotion or the, you know, how it has affected people because yep. I'm not a gambler, so That's I, right. I, I, I don't... And I think Mr. Mr. Dane's presentation was personal. I think that was very appropriate, absolutely. Yeah. All right? <laughs> it's not going to be an easy day, and I, and I accept, and I do, I accept... Councillor Nuttall, it's going your comments, and um, as far as, as the restriction, I don't want to restrict anybody, so I hope you're hearing that in the public. It, I just want to, to focus you on the information that we need from you as far as going forward with our, our machine, our policy. So thank you for that. We have our next presenter, um, is Mr Jacob Sawyer. As Mr. Zoe, sorry, I'm not taking um, questions from the public uh, at this stage. You will have your opportunity to present.